this tutorial we will look at some frame rate and interlacing examples and how to work with different formats and frame rate conversions. In this first example, I will demonstrate how to handle 60p footage in a 30p project. So if you shot 60p and are editing a 30p timeline, you need to take the following steps so Twixter sees all the frames. If you don't take the following steps, Vegas will skip every other frame, so it's like you shot 60p for no reason. You could use the same technique for 30 to 24 or 50 to 29.97. If we look at the properties of this project that I have already started, you can see how to start a project in the basics tutorial. You will notice that it has a frame rate of 29.97 frames per second. If we look at the properties of the clip that I want to add to this project, we can see that it's 59.94 frames per second. If I just simply add it to the project like this in advanced frames, we're losing every other frame. I'm in disable sample rate mode, so this is why you can see that it skips frames, but once you set the playback rate, this setting is irrelevant to Twixter. If I go back to the clip properties now and change the playback frame rate to 0.5 on this clip, that's 59.94 frames per second, it will show every frame. I'm going to swap this clip out for the same one but without the numbers. I've already changed the playback rate to 0.5, so now when I add Twixter, all the frames will be recognized. I just need to drag the edge of the clip to the new result length add Twixter, and animate the speed percentage. We will start at 100%, and as the balloon starts to drop, change the speed to 30%, so the water balloon can hit and break in slow-mo, and then continue to the end. Let's see the result. You will notice that you have a nice smooth result using 60 frames per second. So if you have them, why not take advantage of all the frames when you retime? Here's a tip. If you are trying to figure out other frame rate conversions, the formula is current frame rate divided by new frame rate equals the number you change the frame rate to. For example, if you're going from 30 frames per second to 24 frames per second, the playback rate would be 0.8 because 24 divided by 30 equals 0 0.8. Let's take a look at a similar issue. Since we're still in this progressive project, we want to address the issue of adding a field-based movie to a progressive project. I've imported this 1080i clip, and let's look at the project properties. We can make sure we're at best full view here in the viewer menu to see exactly what's going on. If your display is not showing 100%, you can right-click in the viewer window and make sure Scale Video to Fit Preview window is not checked. Now, just to offer you a method to check and make sure you have the field order correct, we can go back and set the field order to None and the deinterlace method to None. If you see fields doubled like this, the field order interpretation might be wrong. Now let's make it right. We can go back to the properties and change the deinterlace method to interpolate fields. This will give us better quality than blend. If we advance frames one at a time, you will notice that we are only seeing the first field of every frame. That's why the number counter is skipping every other number. We're not using all the information we could. If I right mouse click on the clip and go to the properties and change the playback rate to 0.5, then we'll see every field. Also, I can go to the Media tab and go to Field Order, and I can see that the clip interpretation is correct because it shows Upper Field first. At this point, you would do the same thing we did in the previous example, dragging the clip to the length you want the result, adding Twixter, changing the speed, and rendering. So now you know how to handle a few mixed format issues and frame rate conversions using Twixter and Sony Vegas.